Yesterday was truly chaotic for ARC. We had last minute delays for Xbox and Windows, last second tweets, schedules needing to be reworked, release dates showing up much later than expected, stock price questions, and if all of that wasn't enough for you, we ended the day with death threats. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and we're going to do a quick update breakdown on all of these topics, unscripted, raw, and unfiltered, just the way you like it. Thanks again for your continued support for my ARC uploads. In case you haven't done so already, remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Likes, comments, shares are greatly appreciated. Chapters are in place for this one, and here we go. So to set the stage for this, as we progress through all the latest in ARC news, we need to turn back the clock to yesterday and this tweet that I theorized would be coming from the official ARC Twitter account as of 12.59 p.m. This is, of course, like I said, yesterday. Xbox and Windows survivors, the game is still going through the certification process and will not be releasing on Tuesday, and this was, of course, the match that set off the gigantic community bonfire surrounding ARC. As expected, the ARC official Discord went full meltdown, Twitter followed suit. I myself saw some very interesting feedback on yesterday's ARC upload where I broke the news that Wildcard had just announced that the Xbox and Windows Store version of ASA were going to be delayed, they thought, until later this week. We'll talk more on that in a second. And in general, the sentiment from the ARC community was one of just general outrage, but it was expected. Because this is ARC we're talking about. This is Studio Wildcard that we're dealing with. And the hopium and copium runs strong within this community. So many times in the past, release dates have been published. So many times in the past, release dates have been promised. And each and every time, those release dates have been blown through for one delay reason or another. But if we take a look at the Microsoft Store under a general header, so no account needed for Ark Survival Ascended, scrolling down into the overview, there's now a release date posted of November the 30th, 2023. Now, I haven't seen that there in the past. So I grabbed a screenshot of it yesterday and posted it over to Twitter, but I ended up taking it down because there was just so much conflicting information flying around all over the place. We saw the statement from Cedric and the comms team over at Wildcard stating that the Xbox and Microsoft version of the game was expected to release. So it was going to be out of certification later this week. But I also read it that it might not release this week. We might just get information concerning a potential release date later this week. And since yesterday, each and every time I go back to this Microsoft landing page for Ark Survival Ascended, I review it all over. I see that release date of November the 30th. I just don't see Ark Survival Ascended for Xbox, for Windows, being pushed back another two weeks on top of what we got yesterday. But again, we are talking about Studio Wildcard. This could potentially coincide with a late November PlayStation release. So you would have both consoles along with Windows releasing right at the end of November or potentially delayed across the board into December. And of course, with this last minute delay announcement coming out of Studio Wildcard for Ark Survival Ascended, it's thrown so many gamers' lives and organizations into a complete state of chaos. We saw this tweet being shown off all over the place for Xbox UK, prominently displaying Ark Survival Ascended as their showcase game this coming Wednesday. They, of course, have had to come in and announce that they will not be streaming Ark Survival Ascended and will be replacing it with some other game. But apparently Xbox was not in the know with this delay or at least found out very last minute. And of course, we need to mention the gamers around the world. Those men and women who have taken time off from their jobs because they want to be there the very second the servers go live. They want to hit the island. They want to rank up. They want to find the best base spots. Want to tame those dinos first. They want to get those resources first. 
and all of that has been placed on the back burner. Which leads us to the player counts for Ark Survival Ascended, the latest and greatest Ark experience. We've got Unreal Engine 5, quality of life improvements, improved anti-cheat, Lumen, Nanites, a completely reworked code base, or at least said to be so by Doug Kennedy, co-founder of Studio Wildcard. But as I take a look at the player counts between the old version, Ark Survival Evolved, and the new version, Ark Survival Ascended, there's less than a 10,000 player difference between these two titles. Now, I'm not in the position to be uniquely qualified to speak to all the differences, minor up to major, between Ark Survival Evolved and Ascended. As I've said in the past, I was there with Evolved when it first launched. I refunded out because it was an unholy buggy mess. I've been with Ark Survival Ascended the moment it went live on Steam, and I'm somewhat more familiar with that product. But as I've spoken with players that have spent multiple thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours in Ark Survival Evolved, one consistent message is expressed to me, and that is they feel that Ark Survival Ascended is essentially Ark Survival Evolved with old quality of life evolved mods now baked into the game, all wrapped up in a new shiny UE5 paint job, but the legacy issues have persisted and on top of that ASA is now intensely hungry for PC resources making it damn near impossible for many players to make that conversion over to the new ARC. Which brings us to the stock prices of Snail Games USA. Of course they own Studio Wildcard and I know many people theorized at the very moment that Orc Survival Ascended was released at least on one platform in this case PC that it would be the messiah for Snail Games. There would be a sharp increase in the pricing of the stock and it simply has not happened. As you can see from this Snail Games stock chart their pricing index is all over the place. At one point earlier today, they dipped below $1.20, further debunking the theory that Ark Survival Ascended being released was going to dramatically increase the stock prices. If anything, this shows that investors are not confident where Snail Games is going, because if anything, stock prices are a direct indication of consumer confidence in the product, and clearly, they're not. And speaking to some more Snail Games events and presentations, later today, upcoming events, they have their third quarter 2023 earnings conference call and webcast. I'm signed up to listen into that. It is not usually as detailed as you would want. It'll normally be followed up by a complete financial statement probably tomorrow. If I find anything of interest in there, I will, of course, bring it to you in a follow-up report. Of course, with everything that has transpired over the last 10 months, some ARC veterans could argue over the last eight plus years, we've had a lot of animosity brewing and boiling over. You could look back to Evolved and promised features that were never delivered upon. Or we could look to earlier this year. We didn't know it was ASA at the time, but that free UE5 upgrade that was teased and then taken away, and then it became this $100 plus price tag new ARC experience bundled with ARC 2. Of course, players revolted. Then it became Arc Survival Ascended, but with extra map packs, which costed quite a bit of money. Once again, driving the price tag up over $100. Players revolted again. It then became a reduced cost package, Arc Survival Experience. And we had Arc Survival Evolved official servers being shuttered and taken away, forcing players over fully to unofficial or quit the game or to buy Ark Survival Ascended. We had no news upon no news, delays, delays, and finally we got the PC launch, but just on Steam. And then with this further delay, just yesterday with Xbox and Windows, some members of the community just had enough and they lashed out and that led us to this statement by Dolly. And before I conclude on this statement, I did want to give a big shout out and thank you to Nerd Boy Gaming. Link to his YouTube channel can be found in the video description. Go check him out. He was kind enough to lend me the use of this screenshot as I looked for it over on the official ARC Discord and it was not there. 
Clearly frustrations were manifesting themselves on both sides of this. You had Dolly posting this pretty lengthy statement over on the official ARC Discord and then taking it down after further consideration. You had other players within the Discord just lobbing over just some nasty, nasty insults in the direction of Studio Wildcard. I'm not going to read the entire thing to you, but one section of this bears repeating. It says, irrespective of where I land after I've given it more thought, though, yeah, I'll be quiet for the time being while I'm getting death threats. No job is worth this. And if there's one thing I can tag on to this is, yes, I can be ultra critical of Studio Wildcard. I can be ultra critical of Snail Games. I can be critical of the games themselves. But one thing I draw the line at is making it personal and lobbing insults at individuals. This needs to stop immediately. When death threats are being lobbed at members of the comms team, members of the dev team, that's clearly crossed the line. All right, that's going to wrap it up for the latest in ARC news. Remember to sound off in the comment section below and leave me some feedback about anything ARC related. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Likes, comments, shares are of course greatly appreciated. All my socials can be found in the video description below. Shout out to the nearly 180,000 of you that have taken the leap, stuck with me, and hit subscribe. And a special thanks goes out to my Patreon supporters and to those of you firing over those lovely YouTube super chats. They're greatly appreciated. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off.